think pandas eating apples is one of my favorite things ever. Good morning, it is our final day volunteering at the Panda Center in China today. So, we gotta make it count. I'm gonna put on my sexy big uniform and we're gonna go tend to those pandas like we've never tended to them before. We're good to go, let's head. Our panda doesn't want to come in so we can clean his cage. Shen Shen! Ow ow! Ow ow! Ow ow! We just weighed Ow Ow and he's only 150 pounds. I would have thought he was way more. Hey. Come <laughs> We just cleaned Ow Ow's outside enclosure and it was super clean, which seems suspicious, but it's because he's been in here pooping all night and eating all night. So I'll have to clean there later. Something to look forward to. <laughs> Both outside enclosures aren't so bad, but now we have to tackle this. It's time to go in. And now I am sweating. Here's a new friend, we're at a third enclosure. Oh, we just cleaned out your dirty cage. surprise and we had to clean three enclosures this time so we're pretty tired but very cute panda that we cleaned the enclosure of we're just walking back and look at this guy enjoying the fountain in the hot day he's so zen we're headed back now for feeding one of three and I think I forgot to mention what the tour group I went on was. It's called Go Eco. I'll link it down below. I'll link this specific panda trip if you're interested in going. I would encourage anyone to go. It's been a whole lot of fun. So definitely go check that out. Ooh, that's a big one. How many do we have? One, two, three. These? Okay. Ready? Look at those beautiful eyes. They're so sweet. <laughs> right? That was fast. Ready for your next one? I think pandas eating apples is one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> oh, you dropped some. Here. Shen Shen's my new BFF. Shen Shen, was that good? Is that tasty? So sweet. Oh, and she's down. <laughs> what are you doing? It's so cute how the different pandas have different personalities. Like, Shen Shen is much shyer and is a smaller panda, whereas Ao Ao is super hungry all the time and more confident and aggressive. <laughs> It's funny. Lunchtime now. Got the same garlic tofu deliciousness. 
Also, I'm not sure if I showed it, but this is a hostel we're staying in. We eat on this bottom floor, and then we sleep on those top three, and there's a little office for all the volunteers. Oh my gosh, so we were walking to our second feeding, and there's a little snake. Yikes. It's got like a green stripe. I'm gonna move out of the way. Hi, Mr. Snake. <laughs> That little paw is so cute. Okay, you ready? There you go. I didn't film much of the second feeding and I'm actually not gonna film the third feeding at all. I just really wanna sit there with the pandas and be with them with no cameras. I was looking into Shenzhen's eyes when I was feeding him and I just felt this weird connection, almost like a human connection where I could feel his little spirit. I don't know. It's so strange. We're all just being, sharing this world and it's, it's so beautiful to be able to connect with animals like that and form kind of a relationship, a friendship with an animal. I don't know. They're so special. Pandas are by far my favorite animal now. I mean, I always loved pandas, but they're so big, but so sweet and so gentle. And they just love life. They just want to eat food and roll around and sleep and just enjoy it. And I think it's so heartwarming to be around them. And this week has just been such a dream come true for me. I, I feel really overwhelmed with how grateful I am and how happy I am that I got to experience this. our pandas for the last time. Bye Shin Shin. Bye Ow Ow. We just did our final feeding and it took everything inside me not to hug those pandas. <laughs> One because it's frowned upon and two because it's they're bears and it's dangerous but they're so sweet you just want to hug them and love them. Oh, that was sad. I'm gonna miss how Ow Ow closes his eyes when he eats because he loves food that much. <laughs> Oh, so special. Okay, now it's dinner time. Let's go eat for the last time here. We're now having a little calligraphy course and there's like a special way to hold it. I don't think I'm holding it right, but <laughs> we're gonna fill in these characters. <laughs> This is my name in Chinese calligraphy. I tried to make it myself. It didn't work out quite the same. And then this is one to 10. This is panda, which is bear cat. And this means the US. So very cool. So in the volunteer room, they have lots of pictures and I added my own little picture. It looks like an eight year old drew it, but you know what, whatever. It says love from Hollywood. That's me, that's a panda. I tried. <laughs> but if you ever come here and volunteer, keep an eye out for it. And if you take a picture and tweet me it if you see it. So our final full day in China has come to an end, unfortunately. And tomorrow I start my travels back to Los Angeles. It's going to be another 18 hours of schlepping. I go Chengdu to Beijing and Beijing to Los Angeles. So I will see you guys tomorrow when I start my venture back home, but it's been a fantastic trip to put it lightly. Well, the day has finally arrived. We're all packed up. We're gonna go downstairs for a final breakfast. Then we're gonna take a bus to Chengdu, which takes around two and a half hours. And then I've got 18 hours of travel from uh, Chengdu to LAX. So let's do it. I'm also very, very sad to go. I think that's a given, but 
overall this trip has just been far beyond what I expected and I expected a lot travel I am finally home in Los Angeles it feels so good to be home with my husband David and I'm going to actually meet up with some friends right now that's why I'm clean and showered so I probably won't last long but I wanted to end the vlog first and say thank you so much for watching these China vlogs I hope you enjoyed them I have lots of big travel plans in the future so please do subscribe if you loved this series and I will see you guys next week bye